Are you unsure when to plug this in? What about when to use additives or even winter fuel additives? We will go over the facts, myths, and the what ifs. All right, we got temperature of 21 degrees currently. We're showing 22 degrees on there. Let's see what our engine coolant temp and oil temp are. Fact. Page seven of the Duramax diesel supplement says to plug in the block heater at temperature zero degrees Fahrenheit or below. Doing so can provide easier starting and better fuel economy during engine warmup in cold weather conditions. Using this will eliminate the need to remote start and force the truck to idle for an extended period just to warm everything up. We all know extended idling of a truck with a DPF can be bad. Myth. Block heater will not work in temps above zero degrees Fahrenheit because it has a built-in internal thermostat. Page 217 of my owner's manual says an internal thermostat may exist. And in my case, I don't think it does. So what if we decided to plug in the truck at a higher temp than zero degrees? Let's say around 25 degrees. Well, I plugged in my truck overnight when temps were in the low 20s to see if it would work and at what temps my engine oil and coolant are. We're showing 22 degrees on there. Let's see what our engine coolant temp and oil temp are. There we go, engine oil temp sitting on 61 degrees. Engine coolant temp 68. Now that's right after firing it up. So right now the coolant is circulating around and it's gonna mix with the colder coolant. So we'll get an average here in just a moment. Better cold start, higher electricity bill obviously, but as you can see, 22 degrees. You don't have to follow the zero degree in the owner's manual, but obviously if you wanna follow the owner's manual, you absolutely can. Fact, if you live in colder climates, your fuel stations will switch to winterized fuel, also called diesel number one. This fuel is thinner than regular diesel number two, which allows it to flow more freely in cold temperatures. It also has a higher cetane rating, which helps diesel start easier. Remember that cetane word because we will go deeper into that in a moment. The last benefit to diesel number one is its ability to prevent diesel fuel from gelling. Gelling is when the diesel fuel starts to solidify and becomes a solid paraffin wax. That means no fuel to the engine and therefore you're stuck. Myth, diesel number one is just fine in all temperatures. Nope, diesel number one is better in lower temps than diesel number two but it's not perfect. In fact, number two diesel can start gelling at around 20 degrees, whereas number one can start around 10 degrees. One way to prevent gelling of diesel fuel is with a winter additive. Now, what if you run a fuel additive? Will it void your warranty? Let's discuss this a moment. Page 15 of my diesel supplement tells me to run an additive at all times if I'm not using top tier diesel fuel. Of course, GM does not recommend other additives than the AC Delco additives, but I have these here from Arch Oil. This is a daily treatment that could help clean and lubricate the fuel system and is the only treatment capable of post-combustion cleaning. That's the exhaust system, like the DPF. It will also increase the cetane rating, which will help increase efficiency, power and less in particulate matter. Now getting back to winter fuels, we also have the 6300 winter diesel treatment. This does everything the regular treatment does, but also includes anti-gel, which brings the diesel fuel operating temp significantly lower. Fact, diesel exhaust fluid, otherwise known as DEF fluid, can freeze in temperatures below 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is incredibly important because you do not want to be filling your DEF tank completely full during those temperatures as the water in the DEF fluid will actually start to expand and could break your DEF tank. Myth, once diesel exhaust fluid freezes, you're stuck and cannot drive. That's false. Luckily, we have heaters built into the system. The system is designed to not spray DEF fluid in temperatures that are freezing. So you're 100% safe in freezing temperatures with frozen DEF as it will warm up and eventually go back to its normal state. What if you want to run an additive in your diesel exhaust fluid? I've done some tests and I noticed no differences. So do that at your own risk. Let me know in the comments if you are using your block heater and what additives you prefer. Keep your fuel flowing, your engine warm, and your winter adventures uninterrupted. All right, I am right down the street. Outside temperature still 22 degrees. You can see engine coolant temp sitting on 131. If I can get this to focus. 133 on engine coolant temp, 77 on engine oil temp. Transmission is at 59 degrees.